Hello everyone, I am Ashraful Hawk, currently working as a software engineer at AppScode. In today's webinar, I will demonstrate the process of backup and restore uh, kubedb managed single store using kubestash, which is a Kubernetes native tool designed for backup and restoring production grade databases in any cloud environment. So here is the table of content. First, I will describe the kubestash backup workflow. Following that, I will following that I I, I will describe uh, the QBS test restore flow. Next, next we will proceed to the live demo of the backup process. Then we will move on to the demo of the restore process. Then finally, we will have a QA session for you. So let's jump into the QBS test backup flow. This workflow provides a comp comprehensive understanding of how Kubestash manages the backup process for single store. Uh, if we have a Kubestash operator installed in our cluster, the backup process initiates with the creation of backup storage, uh, the, the, which is a custom resource definition, serve as a pointer to the backend where we intend to store our snapshot and the kubestash operator continuously monitor the backup store backup storage following this we create a backup configuration which is another crd that encapsulates encapsulates the details about the target databases uh, backend references the session which is specify the repositories of the backend where snapshot will be saved and information about the cron job associated with that the, with that session after that a cron job will created who uh, created and which trigger a backup session at regular interval and each cron job in turn generate a backup session and a snapshot is created for each repository specified specified the uh, specified the, uh, in the session and the operator adaptively resolves the add-on which is contain specified specified task for the backup operation so finally so finally operator created a backup job executing the single store specific logic for backup and updating the snapshot content so in in conclusion in uh, Kubestash operator creates a seamless backup workflow triggering consoles, backup sessions, and snapshot to ensure the integrity and the availability of your single store data. So now we will describe the Kubestash uh, restore workflow. And when we uh, create a uh, restoration contain uh, that containing the data source snapshot information and details of the database to be restored it then resolves the add-ons and which contain specific tasks for the restore process and a restore job will be executed uh, uh, that uh, store restore logic for single store and the snapshot will be taken from the backend and put into the database So in this webinar, we will show how to perform the backup and restore process of kubedb managed single store using kubestash in my kind cluster. To achieve this, we will guide you through the installation of a single store instance using kubedb. And for more information about the kubedb, feel free to explore our website at kubedb.com and you can install kubedb using this helm command to get license you can visit qd.com and see all our documentation also you you, you will have to install the kubestash uh, kubestash uh, which you can uh, install by this helm command so before going to the live demo i just want to describe the eml that i will going to apply so at first we will have to create a retention policy and we will apply this uh, eml and 
uh, this is the uh, this uh, this is the uh, kind of for retention policy uh, which is retention policy and the uh, here is the uh, metadata name and namespace and spec section we will mention the max retention period and successful snapshot uh, we will uh, store the last 10 uh, snapshots and here is this policy from all namespace and then after that we will apply the the uh, backup storage cml and uh, we where we will specify the our storage provider so here the uh, kind is backup storage and uh, the metadata is s3 storage that we will uh, create in, in this name and it will create in a demo namespace and spec section uh, here we will we can mention the multiple storage provider in this case i have mentioned the only s3 provider uh, in s3 provider we will mention the endpoint and bucket region and prefix and the secret name the secret name you can create uh, your secret uh, secret name using this command we will create a secret using the access key id and the secret a secret access key also uh, you can also you can uh, also you can uh, mention the allowed namespace and uh, default deletion policy and uh, otherwise so uh, here we will mention that deletion policy is web out that that means if we if we delete the if we delete uh delete this backup storage then our all the snapshot or all others uh, all, all other storage also uh, will be deleted so we just want to uh, apply the retention policy and the backup storage first then we will back here again So at first we will apply the retention policy uh, who is already I have created then I will create the backup storage ML. So we can uh, see that backup storage is already created and uh, the face is ready now. Now we want to apply our the single store backup YAML. So I shortly I just want to describe this uh, YAML. So here is the name uh, we have mentioned it as uh, SDB backup, and we uh, in single store there are uh, two types and one is uh, clustering mode and another another one is standalone mode. Uh, in this case, we just want to uh, apply the uh, clustering mode. And in this YAML, we have mentioned the uh, required field uh, that we have we need to uh, mention in the YAML. So, so in 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 this YAML, we have mentioned in uh, in topology section there is aggregator and relief. In aggregator section, we mentioned that we will uh, uh, we will apply two replicas, and we will also mention the uh, mention the resources of the of the main container, uh, which is single store, and we also mention the storage and uh, uh, storage and the required storage. Uh, for the leaf, we also mention the replicas and the res and the resources of the main container, which is a single store and we also mentioned the resources for the leaf storage uh, leaf storage and we also mentioned the license secret which we already created and here is the deletion policy is web out now we will apply this sdb backup So it will take uh, a few minutes to uh, it in, in provision provisioned and uh, go go on to the ready phase. In the in the meantime, we will describe we will describe the backup configuration YAML. So. 
so here we mentioned the backup configuration's name which is db backup and we also mentioned the our targeted databases and which is sdb backup and api group is kubedb.com and kind is single store also we mentioned the name space uh, also, we, we, we will mention the backend where we want to backup this. And uh, here we also mention the name is S3 backend, which already we, we have created. And the storage reference is the S3 storage and namespace is demo. And ret retention policy we, we, that we have already created, we mentioned here. And the we also mentioned the session, and we uh, we named this is frequent backup, and the session history limit is three, and we schedule as uh, schedule as a uh, schedule as that every one minute it will take the backup, and we also main the successful job history limit, failed job history limit, and. In the repository section, we mentioned that uh, what is what will be the uh, re repository name, which is S3 repo, and the backend is S3 backend, and directory will be the single store. And we also mentioned the encryption uh, encryption secret, which which we will create uh, uh, which we will create before, and namespace is demo and we also main uh, we also mentioned that uh, add-on which is single store add-on and uh, whose task is a logical backup and who uh, in in backup session uh, it will the it will resolve this logical backup now we back into the uh, terminal and we can see now that our db is in ready ready phase ready phase so before applying the backup configuration, we just want to uh, insert some data in our in our uh, SDB backup. So for this reason, we will exact into the, our database. So it will be the backup. And we will enter into the database so here are few system databases and health checking databases we just want to create another database uh, let's see we will create a database name webinar So we, we, we already created a database this name webinar. Now I want to create a table on this database. Before that, I want to use this database. Now we will create a database name test. now we can see all of the table in this database which is here is only one and which is test now we will insert few datas in this table so so we have successfully insert some data into into our databases now we want to apply our backup configuration so we will apply our backup configuration yaml uh, it will uh, take the backup every one second uh, every one minute so we will have we will have to wait a few seconds to take a backup in the meantime we can see that uh, a repository is created which is s3 repo that we have uh, mentioned in the yaml and also see that here is create a cron job and uh, and we can see that uh, it schedule that it will take a backup it will take a backup in every one minute so so we will wait for some moment. Mm. 
now you can uh, see that uh, it will trigger and create a db backup so and we can see that it is in running phase in, and finally it 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 will take backup successfully and the backup uh, uh, backup is succeed and we can also see that uh, a yeah, cron job create a pod which is db backup frequent uh, we can see that uh, uh, this pod logs to verify that everything is going well We can also see the more details about in this log. So we can see that uh, one snapshot is uh, backup successfully, and here is the other information. You can see here. You can see that here. Now, uh, now I want to take a backup. For before this, I will back to the YAML file and here is the our db here is the our uh, single store uh, yaml for uh, for restore it is same as hdb backup and we can see that here is the restore yaml which we, i will apply and we we name it as a single store restoration and we here we mentioned the, our database where we want to restore it here is sdb restore and uh, we also mentioned the name space api group and kind and here we mentioned the data resource uh, data, data source and we will take take the latest snapshot so we mentioned it here and we also mentioned the repository which is s3 repo and we also mentioned the encryption secret and this uh, uh, this um, this kubestash operator also resolves this add-on which is uh, logical backup restore name and which task name is logical backup restore now i will apply now i will apply both the restore yaml and the backup uh, uh, restore uh, uh, restore uh, single restore db yaml and the restore yaml simultaneously sdb restore also we will apply the restore ml so we can see that uh, our sdb restore uh, in provisioning state For this uh, webinar, we don't need uh, the backup, uh, SDB backup uh, uh, database. So we just want to delete it. And we can see that our uh, restore session our uh, our uh, restore session is created and its face is pending because uh, it it waiting for the it waiting for the app binding of sdb restore and wh whenever the single store sdb restore uh, provisioning uh, provision successfully then it, it will create a app binding then after that uh, after that restore session will be running in running phase so we can see that uh, our uh, single store restore session in in running phase after that it will got succeed and we also see that uh, this sdb res uh, restore was in the data storing phase and finally after uh, restoring it is it it is now in ready state now we want to verify that our data successfully restored or not so we will exact into the restore now exact into the database
So we will see all the databases. We can see that webinar database is restored successfully. We want we will ensure all the data from here. So use webinar. Now we want to see all the tables. Now we will see all the database, all the data in the, the test table. And we can see now that it is successfully restored. Uh, the restore, restore is successfully. Okay. So. So now back to the, yeah, so uh, I have finished from my side. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. So I think there is a no question. Thank you for your participation.